Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Thanks for taking a few minutes and looking into the Word of God with me. We're talking about things that are going to happen at the end of the age. And among the things that are going to happen is that Jesus is coming again. Last week we talked about why he was coming and we mentioned that he's not coming to establish a kingdom because that kingdom already exists. In fact, the Bible is really clear about this, that Jesus, when he comes again, will not be receiving a kingdom, but delivering up a kingdom. Listen to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24. Then comes the end when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and authority and power. In the end, when Jesus comes again, he's delivering the kingdom back to the Father. He's not coming to establish it. We mentioned that he's coming to raise the dead. But I want you to notice some other things that are going to happen when Jesus comes again. Listen to Acts chapter 17, verses 30 and 31. Truly these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent, because he's appointed a day in which he'll judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He's given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. When Jesus comes again, he will be judging the world in righteousness. Jesus in that judgment will reward. Remember in Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 46, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all his holy angels with him, then he'll sit on the throne of his glory. Before him will be gathered all the nations of the earth and he'll separate them one from another like a shepherd divides sheep from goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. And he'll say to those on his right, Come, blessed of my Father, and inherit a kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. And the righteous will say, Lord, when do we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? When do we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? When do we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it unto one of these least of my brethren, you did it to me. Then he'll also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer him, saying, Lord, when we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you. Then he will answer them, saying, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of these least, you did not do it to me. Now listen to the next verse, verse 46. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. And the word for everlasting and eternal, exactly the same word in the Greek. What's happening? He will reward in that day. In Matthew chapter 7, toward the end of that great Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and your name cast out demons and done many mighty works in your name? And I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You practice lawlessness. Obeying the will of God, caring about your fellow man, watching out for the least. These things are the things for which we'll be rewarded or punished, depending on how we are. It's going to be a wonderful place. The Bible says God will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death will be no more. Neither will there be sorrow nor crying nor pain anymore for the first things that passed away. And God says these things are true and faithful. You could go on and on and on. But when Jesus comes again, he comes to judge the earth. And in that judgment, he comes to reward the righteous and punish the the wicked. If you're right, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. First Peter chapter 5 verse 4. But if you're not right with God, you're going to receive eternal punishment from the presence of God and from the glory of his power. Be ready for that day. Thanks for watching.